Hey, what's up there, YouTube? Section 333 here. It is a Friday afternoon. Actually, March 10th, Friday. We'll have to 4.30, about 4.35. As you can see, it snowed last night. Started around like 1, 2 in the morning. Didn't stick to any of the... Uh, concrete or the asphalt or anything like that roads were fine everything like that finished up around 12 noon sun came out around then melted a lot of the stuff off the trees still some on the trees sun's just ducking down behind the house now just sitting in the backyard got a little fire going in the pit here and uh chooching on the pipe yeah We got a uh, got a little uh, the Super Balkan from McClellan, Syrian Super Balkan. Smoking that, really been enjoying that. Actually considering trying those wicks that uh the Bradley from stuff and things is suggesting. Pardon me. While I talk and smoke at the same time. Um yeah, so Bradley from Stuff and Things says to you, he likes to use those wicks. Uh, con I'm contemplating using them, especially for like a day like today. You know, lighter fluid needs to be able to evaporate in order to be used. I actually just had a block of snow just hit my pipe. Um, it's funny too. Uh, so I'm wondering if those wicks would be any good in the, uh, probably would last longer, I'm thinking, in the snow. So there's this thing that's, uh, one of my friends, you know, as you know, I like the outdoors, I like to camp and hunt fish. My buddies told me to check this out for campfires. It's called the V3 Pocket Bellows. So, it, it's great. Don't get me wrong. It, it's great. But, as I'm looking at it, I'm going, isn't this just a radio antenna the, from the 70s? <laughs> and that's all it really is. It's a big, empty tube. You blow through into your fire keeps your face out of the fire which is great but man I wish I'd thought of that one right <laughs> and again I have no idea how many of these they sell a year either. I actually did purchase several of them and uh I think three or four of them and the reason why is I keep one with my pipe and kit is I come outside to smoke my pipe and light my fire out here um, and then I keep a few in various kits throughout the house in the car but oh Smoking, paying homage to Matches 860. Smoking the Friday Savinelli. This is the 320 Sestina. It's a beautiful pipe, as you can see. The grain on that is just gorgeous. And uh, this 
was the last 320 I believe I purchased. Um, I have several others. Portofina. Or Porto Servo, rather. I have a Porto Servo. The Marangloss. That might be my favorite. It's a beautiful stem on that one. I have my eye on a Puntoro. That one's a pricey one, but I think it might be worth it. Um, if you've been following the channel for any length of time, you'll know that Savinelli is one of my favorite pipe makers. Um, I like that they smoke dry. I believe the balsa does make them drier. Not drier than every other pipe, just drier. Um, there are some pipes I have. I think two of my best smoking pipes don't have any type of filter at all. That's my Dagner uh, Shot Glass Poker, which is one of my best smokers. And the other one is my Paul Winslow. Um, neither one of those has a filter. Both smoke extremely dry and uh, very good pipes, good draws. Not to say that these don't have an excellent draw. These are nice pipes, nice draw, good long smoke, good bowl, good size bowl, thick enough bowl too where it actually doesn't heat up at all, this pipe. Um, I'm wearing the gloves because it's cold out here. And it snowed last night. Surprisingly, it snowed. And it's actually only like 38 degrees out, but the wind has been kicking up quite a bit. And that's why I'm bundled up. This is a Columbia Omni Shield. A Columbia, yeah, Omni Shield that is uh, windproof. But the sweater I have on underneath it is not windproof, because who would think to make wool windproof? Um, although I do like those L.L. Bean wind blocker fleece. Those are warm. They block the wind. I got another one of those. I think some girl I was dating took mine. Smoking the Syrian Super Vulcan from McClellan. Just absolutely have fallen in love with that. That is definitely one. It's one of the best tobaccos I've, I've had this year. Last year. I started smoking it last year. Mm. Pack's beautiful. Now, it's not the finest cut. McClellan's not known for their cuts. Yeah, McClellan is not known for their cuts. But, um... Not like Dunhill. Yeah. Dunhill ribbon cut is... Well, that, Dunhill's not going to be known for their ribbon cut anymore either, are they? Yeah. Uh, it's a shame, too. Great tobaccos came out of Dunhill over the last couple of years. Some absolutely phenomenal tobaccos have come out of Dunhill. Maybe someone will save them or bring them back. Or I'm not even aware of what all the details were as to why they will no longer be Dunhill. I was just told that there will no longer be Dunhill tobaccos available. There's the wind kicking in. Eh, what are you going to do? So, next week, St. Patrick's Day. Uh, going to smoke the St. Patrick's Day pipe. Probably will smoke the Irish Lake in that. Uh, looking forward to that. And, uh, you know, otherwise, it's turned out to be a nice day. Like I said, a little windy need the fire, you need the, the warmer clothing on, stuff like that, you need the, the Mad Bomber hat. I got the ear flaps tied back though, so I'm going to need them as much as, as I would normally you know, when it's super cold out. But uh, not a bad day after all. 
Got a nice day off from work. Yeah, gonna make a nice dinner for the wife tonight. Probably do something uh, warming. Either a lamb stew or a chicken cacciatore. Probably the chicken cacciatore. I like that one. It's one of my favorites. Well, I hope everybody has a good weekend. I hope everybody's got good stuff planned. I think I got a wedding to go to, a friend of the wife's, and uh, tomorrow morning I have a conference to go to for work. And uh, actually the wife and I will both go to that, so it's going to be a long day, long weekend. Maybe Sunday I can get some relaxation in. You know, looking forward to that, of course. Yeah, maybe get to drink a few more Stella Artois. Armed. One thing that's nice is on my patio table there's a lot of snow. Keeps your vehicle. This has gone out. I'm not gonna force you guys to watch another relight. Just checking in for the weekend. You guys have a good weekend. God bless you. All right. See you for St. Patrick's Day.